Hello students, I hope you all are fine and safe at your place. Well, I think it's time to welcome you all to the new academic session 2020 and 21. Students, I always begin a new session by telling you all that take this year as a new journey, as a new promise to be made, as a new page to be written by your hard work. So children, best of luck for this session and give your best. Well, students, now it's time to start with our new chapter or the first chapter of this academic session, Learning Large Numbers. And basically, this chapter focuses upon the place value concept related to bigger or higher numbers. But as we always do, before learning any concept or topic in context to higher numbers, we always review our understanding related to smaller numbers. So like if you remember in grade 3 we have learned mathematical operations or the place value concept in context to only 3 and 4 digit numbers right but in this academic year you will learn to deal with bigger numbers such as 5 to 6 digit numbers but before going to any concept related to bigger numbers let's first recall what is place value concept in context to three and four digit numbers which you have done last year and for this i would like to show you all a video hi kids today we will learn what is place and place value of a digit in a number so let's get started place is the position of the digit in a number Example, here we have a number. Place of 3 in this number is tens place. Place value, it is how much the digit is worth or the value it holds to be at that place in the number. Example, place value of 3 in this number is three tens or 30. Let's learn the concept with more examples. We have a number 457. Let's start with seven. Its place is one's place and Place value is seven ones, that is seven. Place of five is tens. Place value is five tens, that is fifty. Place of four is hundreds. Place value of four is four hundred. So kids, Let's take another example. Here we have another number. Now, let's see the place and place of each digit in this number. Place is seven ones and place value is seven. Place of one is tens. And place value is 110, that is 10. Place of zero is hundreds. And place value is 0 hundred or zero. No matter what is the place of zero, place value of zero is always zero. Place of four is thousands and place value of four is four thousand. So kids, now you have a fair idea. What is place and place value? Well, students, I hope the video was of great help to recall place value concept. Well, uh, I hope you remember that each place has different value and let's recall value of each place first before going to any other 
example or any other explanation. Well, if you remember, value of 1's place is 1, value of 10's place is 10, value of 100's place is 100 and value of 1000's place is 1000. And I hope you all remember the formula which we used to use to find out place value of any digit in a number and that is digit into value of the place. So now let's take this example. We need to find out place value of 8 in this big 4 digit number. And how we can do it? We, can, we will use this formula itself to find out value, place value of 8 in this big number. As you can see that 8 is at the 100's place and the value of 100's place is 100. So to find out place value, what we can do, we will multiply 8 with 100 and we'll get the place value which is 800. And as I hope you all remember that we can write on place value in two ways, in numerals and all as well as in words. So I've written down place value of 8 in this big number in two ways, 800 and and as eight hundreds and that is in words. So now it's time to go to the next slide and recall the place value chart. So students, uh, do you all remember what's a place value chart? Well, it's a way to make sure digits are in the correct place. Like here I have taken an example of a four digit number and that is 1489. So a place value chart basically helps us to segregate or put digits as per the correct place. Like here, 9 belongs to 1's place, 8 belongs to 10's place, 4 belongs to 100's place and 1 belongs to 1000's place. Right? So now it's time to review what you all have learned or recalled today. And for that, I want you all to do worksheet number one posted on the school website in your practice notebooks. Thank you children. Study hard and keep yourself safe.